We are learning more information about an attempted abduction on the campus of Wayne State University. A student says she was waiting for an Uber ride when a van full of guys tried to grab her off the street. Let's get straight to 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn live right now on campus with much more on the story. Dave? Jeff Joanne, the good news is that student is safe. I talked with the Wayne State Police Chief. He says she's understandably shaken by the incident, though. The student was leaving class last night uh, around 9.30, and she had made arrangements for a ride with a Uber car. The lady was waiting for an Uber cab to come, and then a black minivan came up and stopped, and she assumed it was the Uber. She opened the door, and then it turned out there were three people inside, and they tried to pull her in, but she kind of managed to escape. Abdul Suleiman learned about the incident from friends and social media. Regina Suleg has used Uber and had a positive experience herself, but is still cautious. They tell you the type of vehicle, and sometimes they'll give you the license plate number even to like look for. Uber cabs are regular vehicles. The service is quick and convenient and cheaper than a regular cab. Uber is now in 54 countries and 150 cities in North America, including Detroit. Because you can easily go up to the wrong car. Because we were looking for the right car for a really long time, and there was a lot of times that we're like, "Oh, there! Oh, no, 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 no!" Like you know, and especially if it's cold outside, you just want to get into a car. Regina won't hesitate to use Uber again, but offers these suggestions for others. Always make sure you're with a group of people. Never go to one of these cars by yourself or use it by yourself. Um, maybe before getting into the car, look at the driver and be like. Do you know where I'm supposed to go type thing? Because they know your destination before you get into the car. So. I think it's really convenient down here because it's nice. You don't, you know, parking is kind of hard to come by. So, I mean, I don't, it's not necessarily Uber's fault. I think I would still use it, just be a little leery. It's really just a cautionary tale. I don't think there's anything wrong with Uber, and campus is very safe here, so it's good. So she was shaken up. As a result of the incident, certainly, but she was not hurt. That's the good news here. Uh, word of the incident has spread throughout campus, of course, and the victim did contact Wayne State Police. They are investigating what happened to her last night. For now, we are live on the Wayne State campus. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Now